Kila, show him your little diaper. Good morning, guys. Uh, today is day 15, 75 dials. I'm running out of shit to do besides just like my, my normal thing, right? The Masters are on this week, um, so that's always good if you're a golf fan. Uh, it's cool to have on the TV because golf is so peaceful, so easy to watch. You know, you can just have it on in the background, glance at it every couple of minutes, you know, and it's on for like fucking eight million hours a week. So, Masters are on this week. I'm excited for that. I'm training and I got another photo shoot. What I'm probably gonna do, because the photo shoot is tonight and it's in Compton at like fucking 11 p.m. So it's gonna be a late one. I don't think I'll eat. I think I'm just gonna drink some coffee, maybe some honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, look, so I got my raw honey. I'm gonna just put it in my coffee. Not too much, just one serving for that quick blood sugar, that quick boost, then creatine, electrolytes, if you're not already on the electrolytes, get on them. Oh, I do have a package that I want to open up. I can't eat them. I'm really sad because Derek has uh, been talking to me about these protein bars for so long. They've remade the protein bars and I don't think I'm supposed to talk about, I don't think I can show them. Yeah, I'm not gonna show them right now, but they look fucking insane. I really want to get into them, but you know, I can't. Cause it's not, you know, it's a little, it's processed. It's got like whey and all that shit. So is it fucked up if I like eat half of one and then not throw it up, but spit it out? Just get the taste of it. Or am I just taking it too serious? Is it, like, is it even that deep? You guys tell me because I, I would love to taste it and let you guys know because I've been waiting for this shit since the last protein bars because they were, I didn't like them. And I told Derek that and he remade the whole thing and they, they're finally relaunching again. What was I saying? Oh yeah, electrolytes, honey. Ariel also comes back today. She's been gone in Florida. And I miss my girl, man. So that'll be nice to see her. And she's on her period. And it's really annoying because she, she's bleeding a lot. So I just got those disposable diapers because they Petco had them, but I just ordered like the reusable ones that supposedly fit better. But By the way, the 25% off Young LA sale goes live today. Go check it out. Check the sales section as well because the sales section, some of that shit is literally gonna be like near 10 bucks. Um, code SUSH is 25% off. All discount codes are 25% off. So 1.5M, code SUSH, whatever it may be. So go ahead and use code SUSH so you can support your boy. Creatine. This is the 30 serving creatine tub that they have but they just came out with the 100. Hydration. <laughs> Physique update. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually been pretty happy with how I feel in my midsection. Scotty Scheffler, baby. I've always been a fan of Scotty. I mean, I've only been watching golf for a year now, but I've always liked Scotty. He seemed like a good guy and he's like a family man. <sighs> my favorite golfers are Cap, uh, Brooks, Kepka, Scotty Scheffler, Victor Hovland, and Spieth. Oh, damn it, Spieth's first Masters? That's exciting. So what I was saying was, I'm actually pretty hyped about how I've been looking. I know it's only been two weeks, but I'm getting like a little bit more confident with myself. Before it was way more jiggly. I mean, obviously it still is, but like on my front, it actually feels like I've lost a good amount of weight, but which I've only lost three pounds. There was definitely a lot more back here and here. So that's super fucking exciting. Soon we'll be able to run with the shirt off, pop a top, chest bouncing, titties bouncing, milk driving by, breaking her neck and shit. Maybe I'll finish up the tattoos, the whole like, the neck and shit. Here comes the boom! Dude, wait till, wait till this fucking challenge is over, bro. I'm gonna be so fucking dialed. I mean, I am dialed right now, but I'm gonna be so much, I'm gonna look actually dialed, like a fucking unit. It's supposed to be chill run today, so just like a warm up, or just like a long run. Probably do three miles, nine to 10-ish minute pace, some, some chill, something light. Um, I'm not gonna take the dogs, I'm just go out there, fucking run. If you guys are following along, how's your running going? How's everything going? How's life going? How's your mental going? After the eclipse, you know, I feel great. 
new car, endorphins are high. Which, by the way, the car's fucking awesome. I love it so much, dude. I, I honestly just want to drive right now. But. Look at that, baby. Look at that thing. Oh, by the way, I learned that it's PPF'd. The front end is PPF'd because I saw this. Can you see that? They didn't tell me that. I don't even think they knew. So that saves me a couple thousand. I fucking love this car, bro. 911 was the move for sure. And that red is just fucking gorgeous, man. Let's go. Nice and easy. Three miler. Gonna toss in some headphones. I'll bring my phone as well. I really don't like bringing my phone on like my faster runs because one, it's just another thing that is kind of on my mind. It's like, oh fuck, I gotta get this clip or like I can feel it in my pocket and I hate that. Faster runs, I don't bring my phone. Ones where the time doesn't matter as much like this. Got my race day shoes on. What I'm pretty much gonna do is just wear them. I think they'll last me all of 75 dialed. So yeah. I've got on Pure V1s but different color. I got the Tiger Woods color on because uh, the Masters. So like I said, three mile run should take me about 30, around 30 minutes. Nothing too crazy. Really nice day out. Dude, I don't want to wear this beanie, but my hair is going to go everywhere. So I can rock it like this, I guess. How do we look? I look fucking dialed right now. All right, mile and a half done, 1410. So 14, 10 pace, mile and a half, pretty easy. I'm definitely, definitely noticing my cardio is way better, obviously. But like this today, I definitely noticed it. Even now I'm just able to talk better, get deeper breaths. I'm not dying, pretty good. So far so good. All right, really good three mile, 28.02. So pace, there we go, heart rate was really good. So heart rate's really solid. That's kind of what I look at the most because that tells you how hard you're going. So on a chill three mile, that's perfect for me. All right, I'm about to cook breakfast, um, which is just gonna be four eggs and six ounces of rice. I wanna keep it light. One, because I have a photo shoot today, this evening, and it's kind of an important one, so I don't want my face to be like too bloated because sometimes when I eat too much, I just get a little puffy in the face, so. And also, starting my new book that I got recommended, As a Man Thinketh. Um, it's really short, so it should only last me a couple of days. So, if you guys are if you guys are like following along with the books, this is what's next. Also, drop more recommendations because, like I said, this can be finished up pretty soon, so I'll have to order a new one. I was telling Madrid, I was like, well, I mean, I told you guys too, but I just feel like, I'm starting to feel good about my runs. When I'm like completing them, I'm like, damn, I actually, I'm getting better at running, which is really good to see because you know when you see gains in the gym and you're like, damn, like this feels great. That's exactly how I feel. And I just like, I want more, I want more. So I saw somebody commented, he was like, bro, 130 heart rate or whatever for time mile is insane or something. You could be a good long distance runner. I was like, I took that shit to heart. I was like, yeah. I think it's because I got really long strides, but I'm keep running. That's all, that's all I'm gonna do is keep running. By the way, so the sale is, uh, when you guys are watching this, the 25% off sales today, right? Some notable items restocking, just so you guys know. Immortal joggers, flagships, super villains, drippy skull hoodie. Um, I know you guys with the drippy skull. Pleated festival sets, sorry, just the shirt. Wife lovers, and then a bunch of accessories like the La, La, La toiletry bag, Tokyo long sleeves that sold out for Black Friday. Some bangers on there, for sure. A good list of bangers. So, 25% off. Go check it out and use code SUSH. Mmm. Can't even make, you can't even think, you can't even fathom a better breakfast than that. You can't even create one. Gordon Ramsay can't create a better rec breakfast than this. Look at you. Look how stupid you look in your little diaper. All right. Worst day ever. Back day. But I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off. Well, actually, I should probably warm up a little bit. I'm gonna warm up and then I'm gonna start off with dumbbell, single, single arm dumbbell row, which is the exercise that I fucking hate the most on back. So, but I'm gonna do it anyways.
What do we think about this tank? The graphic, as well as the fit. So obviously, it's a boxy fit. This is something that honestly I, fucking, I have been rocking every single day. You guys have been seeing me wear it. Boxy cut off, cropped a little bit. Maybe when I'm in better shape, I'll fucking crop it up to here, you know? But I love the graphic as well. I think it's sick. Obviously there will be some more basic ones out there, but I think graphics are the move. Especially with the little distressing on it. Maybe it's time I invest in a, uh, well I have a tripod, but maybe a, a gym tripod. I've dropped this camera like at least once a day on this series. I can't believe we're on in 15 days of daily videos. I mean, like I knew I can do it obviously, but 15 days is fucking, shout out to Madrid because he's editing all this shit for the most part. So 15 days is a lot. Definitely getting leaner. Just finished up. I'm about to go home, shower up, and make sure I smell nice. Good workout though. I did like, I think five or six things. Really good. And I stayed off my phone as well, which is always important, especially when you need to, you know, you got places to be. You can't be dilly-dallying on your damn phone when you got places to be. You got shit to do, okay? What's good? Ariel's back from... Hello, YouTube. What? <laughs> you want me to say more stuff? No. Okay, so why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Ariel's back from uh, Florida. Gotta show her the car, obviously. Gotta show her how big. We're taking the car here. You can hold it. So that way they can actually see me in action, you know? Yeah. She's taking me on a joyride. See, this is a problem. This drink is just a little bit, no, you can keep it there. I'm saying it's a problem with Porsche. The drink is a little bit too tall, and so it gets in your way. Is that the only holder? Yeah. I can hold it if you want. You better hope it doesn't spill, damn it. Holy shit, Sick, that's right? insane, yeah. No. Wow. So fast. In front of the elementary school? How are you gonna be a father if you do that? What? I'm, I did it back there. I'm not in the school zone, right? Or I, now I'm in the school zone. Unbelievable. Um, yeah. Did you get the? Did you get me shifting? Yeah, I was recording. Make like sure you. Make sure you. Yeah, yeah, make yeah. Make me look like Paul Walker. Okay. I can't go. Can't yeah. go fast right now. This is a test. Very nice. Passing the carpool with grace. Look at the little kid seats in the back. <laughs> I made a joke in yesterday's video, I was like, I'll put my kids in here and someone was like, dude, you're not keeping this car uh, long enough for, a, for your kids to see it. Oh yeah, no. The next one. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I do like this car. I texted him, I said, maybe this will be the one that stays and he was like, yeah. No, nah, it will be. For a bit. When are you planning on having kids? <laughs> Pretty soon. No, you're not. I said in the mod cast that I actually do, bro, because 
We're in a day and age where young people are not having kids anymore. What do you mean by young kids? Holy shit. Like younger people, oh shit, don't change lanes, motherfucker. Imagine. <laughs> You think young kids are not having kids? Young people are yeah. not having kids? They are having kids. They're, no, they're, they're not. Yes, look it up. 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 Really? Yes. What's young, the difference? Young people are not having as many kids as, as our parents day and age. Oh, probably not. What, what did you think I was saying? Well, I know what you're saying, but also, I, I don't know. I see a lot of people having kids on social media that yeah, with yeah, baby daddies. Yeah, S fucking yeah. Social media and shit, but like the actual statistics there's our old people there's too many old people not enough young people right now in japan J james because we talked about it on modcast yeah japan is unrecoverable they have their people are not making are not having kids anymore i saw a thing about some some place paying people to have kids now i think it might have been them my poor clutch dude i'm absolutely destroying it right now diaper duty watch come here <laughs> That's what I do. All set, tequila. And then this is, I don't know if you guys have seen, this is, uh, obviously they can't go out there, so my dad built this. What did she go right here? It's definitely a little stinky in here. Point the camera at me. Sorry. We're pointing at the ground. <laughs> I was. It's definitely a little stinky, but keep the soap on us. I put probably like every two days. Put the soap on it and then I'll spray it because so then dish dish soap gets everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I mean, you barely did anything. It rains. Your project has been set back two months. Dude, that'd be ass. We were just talking about how when my backyard's done, it's gonna be the greatest day ever. The greatest day ever. Merry blast. Lunch time. You guys know the joke. I'm not picking this camera up until I'm at the photo shoot, which is gonna, cause I gotta stretch this day out. I need this energy drink, I'm fucking tired. So I'm not taste bland to you? Just pepper on it. That's all you need on the, on the animal diet to get like this. How's your fiber? Have you been eating more fiber? I had a broccoli. A broccoli? <laughs> I had a bag of broccoli like two days, three days ago. Three. <laughs> it's gonna last you the whole week. <laughs> you did uh, it so far. Stop. I actually think the next day I had a really good shit. Wow. Some like avocados or something. Avocado is good for fiber? I think it is. Avocado is great fat. I, I get enough fat. From your meat? And my butter. Just whatever. Do what you want. Guys, look at that. Check it out. Raw milk. Cream top. I'm gonna taste it. Raw milk. What's it supposed to do? Ingredients. Whole raw milk. Just one single ingredient. No preservatives. None of that shit. Is it good? Yeah, it just tastes like milk. Really? Yeah, it literally just tastes, Hell it yeah. tastes like whole milk. Yeah. Mm. It's really creamy. I freaking love milk. It's really, Maybe really. I should order some. I can feel it like. Coating your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, how is it less calories than normal milk? Maybe sugar, added sugar. Because mm -hmm. it's 150, I think normal milk is 180. So what am I supposed to do with this? Like drink a glass a day? People probably make smoothies with it. You could blend it with frozen fruit or something, but. Then she made me get some Dates. some fiber. You put some butter, you slice them in half, and then you put a slice of butter. It's so yummy. Organic, all this shit is organic. Avocados, organic, organic butter. I'm actually proud of you. You're one of the only people I know that buys your groceries organic on purpose, even before anything. Mm. Oh, look at the good ones. Uh -huh. You feed your woman first. No problem. I drip. Oh, it's really good. A little dirty martini. That's yeah. actually really good. Drop the martini. Mm mm mm. So, uh, I posted the raw milk on Snapchat, and someone was like, "Is regular milk even that bad?" Like, pretty much asking like, "What's the point of raw milk?" Also, because it's so expensive. I do not know if regular milk is bad, but I do know that raw milk is better for you. There's a lot more health benefits, uh, cause milk is, is good for you in general, but raw milk, because it's not put through that process to make it 
drinkable. Um, they pasteurize them, pasteurize the milk. It kind of gets rid of uh, a lot of the nutrients. So from my understanding, which isn't much, raw milk is just better for you because there's a lot more vitamins and, and it's better for your gut. There's like healthy bacteria and shit. Supposedly, they told, they tell people raw milk is bad for you because they don't want you to even know how good it is for you. That's what they've been saying on the streets, you know? So I thought I'd give it a, t um, a try. Uh, I don't think it tastes any better or worse than regular milk. It's definitely thicker. Um, but I'm gonna try to implement, well, I mean, I will. I'll do like probably a cup of that a day um, with some honey I heard is really good. So honey with the raw milk and maybe with some fruit. Hopefully that will, uh, I can feel some benefits from that. I think it's really good for your gut as well because it has like healthy organisms in it. So yeah. I'm sure there's somebody online who can explain it a lot better than me. I'm not saying, and I'm not saying regular milk is bad for you, I'm just saying raw milk is better for you. That's all I'm saying. While I'm sitting in traffic, I might as well have a little chat um, about 75 dialed. So far, so good. Um, I mean, you guys heard me this morning. I'm honestly really liking the running. As of right now, obviously we're still super early. You know, we've got 60 more days, which, that sounds fucked. Two more months. I'm really liking the results so far, physically. Mentally, I do feel a little bit tired, and I know that's just because of the videos. You know, I'm just like talking to you guys all day, every day, which is not a bad thing, um, but it's just something that I'm definitely not used to, picking up the camera every single day. We're 15 days strong, dude, which is crazy. But so far, so good. Feeling good. I'm loving making running gains. I feel healthier for sure. I'm losing a little bit of fat, which is nice. My face is slimming up. My skin is okay. You know, I still have uh, breakouts here and there, which is fucking annoying, considering I've done two cycles of Accutane, damn it. Appreciate you guys watching, man. It is, uh, this, this series is going down in history for craziest 75 hard dial shit ever. You know, 75 videos. We're not even done. I mean, we're not even getting started. Wait till I'm feeling myself. Wait till I'm fucking diced, bro. Maybe add in a little VAR. Who knows? A little VAR never hurt anybody, eh? I'm just kidding. Unless it's pharmaceutical. If you guys are, uh, you know, tagging along, let me know how you're feeling. How are you doing? If you're doing the no porn thing, how is that going? I know that's probably pretty hard for a lot of people. But yeah, let me know. Super random thought. But do y'all ever drive with no music? Because lately, for the past, I would say year, I've been starting to drive with no music and it's all just been the time where I get to just think like, cause I don't really get much time where I'm just sitting and thinking, you know, cause I can't, if I'm sitting around, I'm probably on my phone. I'm not really thinking much, but when I'm driving, I need to be attentive. I'm not on my phone. So I, I do a lot of thinking while I drive. Lately, I haven't been listening to music um, unless I'm like cruising around, you know, but if I'm sitting in traffic, it must be like, an age thing or like the fact that there's no music out right now but like I said almost a year I just don't listen to music that much anymore like obviously I do a lot of the times I kind of just sit in silence <laughs> so let me know if you guys do that because I have been doing it quite quite a lot recently all right I'm about to show y'all what uh what Compton California looks like we've come here a couple of times so we know Fucking dogs out here people Drugs, people fucking. This is Newsom's California, baby. Let's go. Love it. Look at this dude. Look at him. What's he doing? I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. Time to fucking lock in. Time to get pretty. Time to get pretty and do a fucking photo shoot. It's 7 p.m. I should be getting ready. I should literally be getting ready for bed right now. I should be eating dinner and getting ready for bed. It's all right, though. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I think we're doing something fire related, which is pretty cool. There's also an old Porsche, an old 911 here. This is the studio, 8 p.m. So we're about to get started. I think I'm supposed to be driving this thing. Good thing I've been practicing. So what'd you say? I'm the man. So she's the man. I'm the man, that's right. Yeah. All right. It it is 
10.30. I am not going to lie. Not sure how many of you guys are still watching, but I am fucking so tired. Today obliterated me. I honestly just want to go home and fucking eat and go to sleep. Honestly, I don't even want to eat, but I need to. I need to. Oh God, there's a bunch of homeless people right here. They're burning something. They're burning a fire. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I just want to go to bed, dude. But I've only eaten like a thousand calories today, or like 1,300. So I got a bunch more to eat, which is nice. Kind of spooky, I'm not gonna lie. All right, y'all, you guys know the deal. Comment if you watch all the way. I'll see y'all in the next one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.